What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about the PS5 price increase. Now all this information has been coming out over the last few days. I will link it down in the description if you would like to read over it for yourself. As of right now, the price increase is going to be in multiple non-US markets. Sony has not said that the PS5 will never go up in the United States, but just not going to go up in, in the US as of right now. And Microsoft kind of responded to this as soon as this became news saying that the new Xbox Series S and X, they had no plans to raise the price of, of those two new consoles anywhere, so worldwide or in the US. So as of right now, the Xbox is staying the same price. The PlayStation 5 is going to be, uh, have a, or going to have a price increase in non-US markets and stay the same price as of right now in the United States. Like I said, this has kind of all come out over the last few days. All the information is in the description if you would like to read over it for yourself. Uh, when it comes to the reason the CEO uh, said that they're seeing high global inflation rates, is that of course a lot of people in, in, in the world in the U.S. are kind of experiencing this, and with the currency trends impacting consumers and creating pressure on many industries, based on all these uh, challenging economic conditions, Sony has had to make the difficult decision to increase the recommended retail price of the PS5 in select markets across Europe the Middle East and Africa, the Asia Pacific, Latin America, as well as Canada. There will be no price increase as of, now, uh, as of right now in the United States. While this price increase is a necessity given the current global economic environment and it impacts the business, their top priority is to continue to improve the PS5 supply situation so that many players possible or as possible can you know experience the PlayStation 5. That is one thing I think a lot of people don't like about this. They're raising the price. And in a lot of places, it's still hard to get a PS5. It took me a year to get one. I was not going to go out and personally and pay, you know, scalper prices for one. So I finally waited, you know, for a year and found one at retail price and I was able to purchase it then. But I know there's a lot of people around the world that still are having problems finding it. There's still console shortages here in the United States, even though they're not as bad as they were in the past. But just kind of give you an idea of what you can expect uh, with some of these prices. The PS5 with the Ultra HD Blu-ray disc drive is going to go up to $549.99 in Europe. And the PS5 digital version is going to go to $449.99. In the UK, the PS5 with the Blu-ray disc drive is going to be $479. And the PS5 digital edition will be $389. Uh, if you're looking like somewhere like Japan, the Blu-ray disc drive is going to be 60,478 yen. And the digital edition of the PS5 will be 49,478 yen. Uh, places like Australia, you're going to see the uh, PS5 with the Blu-ray disc drive go up to seven, $799. And the PS5 digital edition go up to $649. Like I said, there's other places like Canada, Mexico, uh, China are also going to be affected by these prices. So if you live in some of these areas outside of the United States, you may see a price increase in PS5s and the thing I think a lot of people like I said are kind of upset with is you're seeing a price increase but at the same time the global shortage for parts and things like that are still there and it's still hard to get your hands on new gen consoles. I think that's one reason Microsoft kind of went out and made that statement talking about the Xbox Series S and X not seeing a price increase probably hoping they're going to get more people, you know, purchasing that console, the purchasing their console, because there has been a better, I think, or a more of an amount, I guess I should say, of Xbox consoles out there than there has been PlayStation consoles. So I'm thinking Sony uh, probably in the end may regret this because it may give Xbox a little bit of an advantage considering if there's more Xbox consoles out there and they are cheaper, people are more likely to purchase them. But leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know if you've got your PS5 yet. And if you haven't and you live in one of these regions, let me know if you will purchase it now that the price has increased. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.